please subscribe. Keep in mind Tartantinas. Scarfed by the bunch, they arrived in an assortment of splendid hues and punched well over their weight and flavor. The new 2020 Hyundai venue helps me to remember those confections, little, beautiful and shockingly dynamic and fun. In contrast to that great candy store, however, a lengthy drive in Australia has persuaded me this new little hybrid SUV is quite healthy, as well. How minor. All things considered, the new 2020 Hyundai Venue shares a great deal of its inconspicuous bits with the any longer accents of compact car, yet at 159 inches by and large, it's 5 inches shorter than this famous Gona, itself perhaps the littlest vehicle available. Truth be told, by my estimations, when the venue shows up, it'll become the most modest SUV on our market, shorter than assumed challenge like the Chevrolet Trax, Ford EcoSport, Kia Soul, Mazda CX-3 and Nissan Kicks. I state assumed on the grounds that the majority of those models line up more unmistakably size and value as toot against the venue's Gona older sibling. I additionally state that in light of front wheel setup, in light of the fact that the venue could securely be seen as all the more a tall hatchback than an utility vehicle, similarly the sole and kicks classifications are routinely discussed. At long last, the venue is probably going to be fundamentally less expensive than almost those vehicles. Proactively, Hyundai is doing what it can to clear up any potential perplexity by killing the five entryway accent from US showrooms, clearing a touch of mental floor space. That is most likely shrewd, as the venue is ready to be marginally more costly than the withdrawing hatchback. With the goal that's venue's size, however shouldn't something be said about its substance? Honda has not yet discharged full US specs and evaluating, however the automaker filled in some significant spaces in front of our initial media drive on the sunshine coast of Queensland, Australia. After its home market of Korea. Oz's sellers are next to begin getting the venue. US sellers won't get the model until December, so it was simpler to dispatch us to the venue than the venue to us. The venue is fueled by 1.6 liter, normally suction for chamber likewise found in the accent, combined to either a 6-speed manual, base say just, or a constantly factor transmission. Our Australia spec analyzers really accompanied pleasantly tuned regular 6-speed to work converter prepared automatics, however Hyundai says US shows will get a CVT for most extreme proficiency. In any case, the SmartStream G inline 4 will create 121 strength at 6,300 revolutions per minute and 113 pound-feet of torque at 4,500 revolutions per minute. Those aren't especially note for the numbers, yet they're inside a horse and a pound foot of the Nissan Kicks, a shockingly engaging two-drive vehicle. To the extent eco-friendliness goes, Hyundai is just saying it's anticipating a rating of 32 miles for each gallon on the joint city, parkway cycles. That is a tick underneath the previously mentioned Kicks, however superior to the dull tracks and Eco Sport. It's important that the venues under the skin twin accent improves, up to 36 miles per gallon consolidated. As these two K2 stage mates share practically identical loads, about 2,500 to 2,700 pounds, that effectiveness in let likely comes down to variables like outfitting and the venue's boxier, less streamlined profile. Such is the cost of SUV design and utility. Discussing style, the 2020 Hyundai Venue's look won't be for everybody, except that is by plan. The models accept measurements, considerable hexagonal grille and frowning split component lighting give the nose a definitely more hostile position and disposition than one would expect for something of the size. The Venue is more than 2 inches shorter than a Honda Fit, however it's upstanding, passed out nursery accessible with differentiating rooftop hues, and solid shoulder line loan the general structure innovation and startling physicality. It's difficult to make such little measurements look rough or forcing, yet to my eyes, the venue is more effective at this than opponents. In up-level cell spec like this exotic green model, 
The venue likewise figures out how to look somewhat progressively premium gratitude to savvy surface finishing on its guards and stout 17-inch combination wheels. Sadly, the venue's tail lenticular lens tail lamp seen here won't make it to the US showcase. Regardless we'll get the internals itemizing, however the twinkling, practically holographic inward impact of these lights is obviously inconsistent with the buzzkillers in Washington. An energetic, one-of-a-kind appearance is a certain something, yet with no hidden substance this little hybrid utility would be an extreme sell. Luckily, the 2020 venue is pressed with ethics. That starts with the manner in which this Hyundai drives, which is at the same time more fun and more developed than you'd anticipate. Those descriptors may appear to be conflicting, yet they're truly not. At any rate with the Aussie Spec 6 speed programmed, execution is smart off the line whether you're in sport mode or not. It's not fast, personality, this is as yet a section level economy vehicle on a fundamental level, yet it's bounty groundbreaking both for urban unpredictable running and road combining. Floor covering the quickening agent and the venue's four chamber soundtrack is neither drawing in nor grinding. Commotion, vibration and cruelty are shockingly very much controlled in all viewpoints. Hyundai's architects have applied acoustic countermeasures all over the place, incorporating sound stifling material in the typical dashboard and entryway areas, just as froth hinders in the A columns, back bumpers and edge rails. It works. Australia's street system is over half rock, and surprisingly, Hyundai's course organizers didn't avoid the harsh stuff. Economical vehicles can seem like modest tin jars when stones pop and ricochet about the wheel wells and underbody, yet the venue remains shockingly quieted inside. So also, this Korea fabricated SUV is polite free to move around that will stuff. Directing is fittingly weighted and exact, especially welcome for those not used to driving on the opposite side of the street, and the suspension does its part to motivate certainty, as well. The front McPherson Swagger, back torsion shaft arrangement is basic yet successful, offering unsurprising, bevel cornering and great effect segregation. With the ultra-short 99.2-inch wheelbase, 3.2 inches briefer than the Kona, the VU obviously isn't insusceptible to a smidge of ride unevenness on undulating surfaces, yet it's superior to most. Note. My analyzer's taking care of was in reality more engaging than anticipated, notwithstanding when flung down the difficult, slender streets that breeze over and around Queensland's Glasshouse Mountains. That is expected to some extent to my model being fitted with 205 17-inch necks and summer tires. Clearly, summers are a normal fitment in calm Australia, even on cheap hybrids. US-bound model will be fitted with, probably less grippy all seasons and have marginally extraordinary stun tuning. The venue's sketchy, amusing to drive demeanor is a significant ideals, yet not so crucial as a well done inside. Hyundai has an incredible reputation for making astounding, reasonable and high esteem lodges starting late, and the venue doesn't blunder from that equation. There's a lot of elbow, head and lick room. This is a vehicle that doesn't feel even a little bit claustrophobic in advance. The back seats offer enough headroom, however those with longer legs will need to keep ventures shorter, and there's no middle arm rest on the 60-40 split collapsing seat backs to help in solace. In any case, it's bearable back there for shorter adventures. Truly, you'll find hard plastics only all through the lodge, however they're well finished and they figure out how to not look modest. For SUV prone to begin in the area of $17,000, there's very little to question with regards to material decisions and fit and finish. Truth be told, there's a decent add-up to love here, with trendily designed textures alongside lime trim and sewing features to keep things young. Abroad markets will get more shading and trim decisions all around than the US, accuse American shoppers' propensities to pay off the parcel as opposed to putting in unique requests. Payload room is recorded at a good 18.7 cubic feet with the back seat backs up, extending to only 31.9 with them collapsed. Down almost 14 solid shapes on its gonna kin, greatest freight room is where the venue's small impression turns out to be generally obvious. 
a double level back burden floor and a sharp stockpiling space for the back bundle rack make the best of a generally difficult spot. It's not only in vogue inside, there's great substance, as well. First off, all venues get a surprisingly enormous 8-inch touchscreen sound framework. Root, Blue L-Ink Telematics and Sirius XM Satellite Radio will be discretionary, however with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto incorporation, there's no need. A 4-speaker sound framework is standard, and a 6-speaker arrangement is accessible. Neither one of the setups is probably going to arouse spending plan audio feels interests the manner in which the Nissan Kicks accessible Bose framework does, yet they're anything but difficult to utilize and take care of business. Discretionary highlights incorporate a power sunroof, warmed side mirrors and seats, and programmed atmosphere control. Strikingly, Hyundai is looking past evident cross shops like the previously mentioned Kicks just as pricier models like the Mazda CX-3 and Toyota CHR and soundly peering toward trade-in vehicles. As per the automaker, a year ago, of the great many individuals who looked for another vehicle, around 33% of them chose a used model. With this model ready to be so cheap, Hyundai sees the venue as a prepared option in contrast to the trade-in vehicle showcase. For my cash, past the full guarantee, one of the key motivations to stretch to another vehicle by over an utilized one, particularly with guardians looking for their children, is the quickly mushrooming accessibility of cutting-edge driver help frameworks. Highlights, for example, forward crash evasion help, path keep help and the driver consideration screen were inaccessible on most models only a couple of years prior.